The Tesla Model S, a window on the future of the automobile. Simple, efficient, and fast. It's a radical rethink of automotive design from visionary Elon Musk's upstart Tesla Motor Company. And those lucky enough to drive the fully electric luxury sedan are quick to appreciate its forward-looking design. The great thing about this car is it has a combination of advanced technology and great fuel efficiency. I mean, this is a fully electric car and it's pretty much a uh, computer on wheels. Spend some time behind the wheel and your view of what a car is and should be will change forever. It is a disruptive force in the way we live. Um, for the last hundred years, we were uh, using uh, internal combustion engines um, as our source of transportation, and now we have a car that breaks that model. But how did this 100-year-old model of transportation we are all so familiar with begin? Turns out it started with the birth of one car, a car that, like the Tesla, rewrote the rules and it rolled off the assembly lines of another visionary, Henry Ford. This is a 1913 Model T. It's the third model year uh, of the Model T, which was the best-selling car in the history of cars. They made 15 million of them. They basically put America on wheels. Gas-powered cars were in their infancy in 1913. Rarely oil-tight, low on power and with suspect reliability, they were clattering rattle traps, backfiring, spewing noxious exhaust, and scaring livestock as they sputtered down the road. Nonetheless, they were bought up by the thousands because they did something amazing. They allowed quick, unrestrained travel across the land. In 1913, the year this Model T was built, there was no interstate highway system. There was maybe 600 paved miles of road in the entire United States. And that quickly changed. Paved roads and filling stations sprang up across the country. The Ford Model T didn't try to fit into the status quo. It forced the world to adapt to it. And the Tesla Model S is now doing the same thing. In 2013, um, the state of charging is in its infancy, um, but Tesla has taken on that challenge and come up with our supercharger system. So you can take a comfortable trip from one coast to the other coast in the Model S using the superchargers for free, hopefully by the end of the year. So both cars are agents of change created a century apart, but the similarities don't stop there. Decades before the phrase user-friendly was ever coined, the Model T was just that. It gave people what they needed at the time, efficient transportation. Real simple 20-horsepower uh, engine. Uh -huh. uh, it's got no pumps or anything. Everything's gravity-fed. Um, it's uh, simple to work on. Today, consumers are, of course, more sophisticated, and user-friendly takes on a very different form. The thing about this car is that it's upgradable. Um, this car is, like I said, a computer on wheels. There are two buttons in this car, one for the hazard lights and one for the glove box. Everything else is based upon the 17-inch touchscreen right here. If other features um, uh, get incorporated into this car, it can be downloaded as a firmware update over the 3G um, connection that this car has. While the basic design concepts between the Model T and the Model S are very similar, early 20th century engineers were just working on the basics of how a car works. It's got a simple planetary transmission. It's got two forward gears, one reverse gear. And this was billed as an automatic uh, transmission car when it first came out. Uh, and it was marketed to ladies because it was easier to drive. The way they sold this in 1913 is uh, it's cheaper than owning a horse. You're uh, using gasoline, it was like two cents a gallon. And you can drive it at night and you can't drive horses at night. So it's a bargain. And you could buy it for $500 in 1913, which is about you know $15,000 now. So it's still a, 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 an entry vehicle. And like Ford's Model T, the Tesla is less expensive to operate than its gas-powered predecessors. This car costs approximately two cents to drive per mile. But unlike the Model T, the Tesla Model S is not an entry-level car. It's packed with cutting-edge tech that rivals other luxury sedans on the market. This car is very intuitive. I have a uh, key fob that uh, my car senses when I walk up to the car the door handles automatically extend for me. I get in, I sit down, I don't have to turn anything on. The car is already on, and when I put this car into drive, we just go. It, it automatically senses that I want to drive. Out on the road, the Tesla is placidly smooth. Because the batteries lay in large sheets under the seats, most of the weight is as low as possible in the vehicle, where it needs to be to facilitate the best handling possible. There's no transmission to worry about, there's no oil to fill, there's no stick shift, there's no exhaust system to rust out, and you never have to go to the DEQ, ever. One of the things about electric cars early on was the image of being an overblown golf cart. It was underpowered, it was not something you wanted to have or even drive. The Tesla Model S has found that balance between efficiency and performance, creating a blueprint for the future of electric vehicles. 
And while this car isn't replacing the horse like the Model T did, it does signal the end of over 100 years of dinosaur-powered automotive technology. And just perhaps, the Tesla Model S really is the Model T of the 21st century.